Hey, Sean here from speedkeepyview.com. I have the new Dianxing. Yes, the Dianxing 4x4 Solar S. Their Solar was a pretty nice budget puzzle. It kind of had a, if I remember correctly, I have to go back to my video and check it, but I feel like it had almost a tornado-esque feeling, like a mix of uh, GAN X, but a budget puzzle and not the crazy super expensive price. And for example, this 4x4 is $17.95, which is sort of, I guess, middle of the road. There's some budget ones that are maybe around $12 you can get, and there are some really crazy expensive ones. 4x4 is my favorite speed solving event. So I say speed solving because fewest moves is my favorite, but 4x4 is my favorite just speed solving. I use Hoya method. Okay, we got a screwdriver and a card and a little stand. So I'm just going to do a few solves with this, and there it goes. But I use Hoya, I use 6-2 edge pairing, very loose out of the box, very flat feeling. This reminds me of the Aosu Mini, um, or even the Yushin, was it the Yushin Red? The one that was a 60 millimeter one, very flat and sleek design. Um... Okay, those aren't magnet dots, but they kind of look like they're supposed to represent magnet dots. Very, very strong magnets. Um, I'm going to try to solve without any lubrication, then I'll probably add some lunar, because it's not that fast at all. Um, I'll try to not tighten it right now. I'm just afraid of it popping, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, it's actually not that fast. It's quite controllable out of the box. But let's see how our solve goes. Okay, average solve, and I had a few slowdowns. Um, it was a little randomly catchy, I think, because of how stable and how clicky it is. Um, very dry feeling. So actually, I'm going to see if I can speed this up, even with tightening it just a little bit. Lunar is the lightest silicone lube that Speedcube Shop has, and I highly, highly recommend getting some, because if you just want to add a nice soft feeling without slowing the puzzle down, this is it. Okay, let's do that first for adding anything else. Let's move this over a little bit more. What am I doing? I mixed up my OLL and CMLL and just started doing both. <laughs> okay. So it's better. It's still weird. It's... It's like stable and... I mean, it's not... 
stable like an old school Shang Show. It's not that. It's just. It wants to be really, really tight. Like I, I, the magnets make it feel like it's just a brick. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Let's do one more. Let's see if I can break 50. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, obviously, I could have fixed some things. I should probably switch. Like, usually I can get the M slice um, U, -per U perm fine. So if I'm doing. So, like, M slices. Are usually fine. Here, I'm not so much. So. This is an interesting thing. I wouldn't outright recommend it to anyone directly if they're just like looking for a new 4x4 but if they were like i want the strongest magnets possible that's that's it or if they want i want something that's reminiscent of a brick <laughs> maybe not a brick but it's it's very interesting it's very interesting puzzle will i probably use it after today no i'm not going to use it after today um but it's still good. I mean, my times are fairly average. Um, I definitely got held up on some things that I would blame the cube on that I probably wouldn't have happened on the YJ one or even the new one from uh, Cyclone Boys that I didn't wouldn't have had the same issues, I feel like, on this one. So that was my thoughts on it. Not the greatest, but there are some good 4x4s out there. If you want something that is kind of in that range, the YJ Mini is top tier. The Cyclone Boys is fine, um, a little more flexible. The uh, More You May Long series, so I don't think they call it the May Soup. That is also a really nice one. Um, so there are some good options out there. Not this one. Not the uh, Diane Chang. Anyways, with that said, if you do buy a cube, use discount code SCR. It helps support the channel and saves you some money. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And always stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.